They call them conch homes. They were fashioned by New England shipbuilders in the days of the Civil War when Old Key West was a boomtown of pirates and salvagers and spongers. They've withstood a century of hurricanes, wars, and depression. And like many of the families who still live in them, they've grown tired and old and a little bit shabby. But several years ago, Key West's old conch town was declared a historic preserve, and outsiders began paying outrageous prices for ramshackle three and four thousand dollar homes. Designer Angelo Dungia purchased this house for $72,000. He put more than a quarter of a million dollars into the restoration. And next door, there are two conch houses that are so far unrestored. Has anybody tried to buy the house from you? Yes. Uh -huh. And have, what have they offered you for it? Well, uh, we wouldn't accept My husband told me wouldn't, they didn't have enough money to buy it. That's why he told them. <laughs> why is that? Well, he likes it. He wouldn't go anywhere else. He says we have to live somewhere, so he likes it here. He bought paint to paint the house two or three years ago, but uh, the tax go up when you do anything to the outside, so he hasn't painted it yet. I'm, I'm very concerned and, uh, about what is happening to these people, and uh, uh, I know that the people are coming in here or, or, and fixing these homes up or is doing a credit to the city, and, and the homes do look nice and, uh, and is attractive, and, uh, but in, in the, at the same time, my, my concern is to that person that lives next door, and I would hope that uh, this doesn't mean that they're going to be forced out. With property taxes soaring at as much as 300 percent a year, longtime residents, particularly those on fixed incomes, are being forced out, a situation that became a campaign issue for Florida's governor, Bob Graham. So during the course of the campaign, I remember an experience in Key West where I was with a lady who lived in a home for over a century and told me that that week she and her aged mother were having to sell that home because they could no longer afford to pay the property taxes. The governor has pledged a two-year statewide moratorium on property taxes while a tax reform commission considers alternatives to basing assessments on skyrocketing property values. But for the Key West conks, it may already be too late. They go up anyway. We didn't do it and it still went up. So <laughs> that's the bad part of Key West. Beverly McFarland, Channel 4 News, Conktown, Key West.